While Burma agreed today to open its borders a crack more to let in an important visitor. The Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, he's scheduled to tour the devastation, but he's also vowing to press the regime in person to allow in a flood of foreign aid before it's too late for tens of thousands of people. Rosemary Barton reports. It's hard to believe that it has now been two weeks since the cyclone hit Burma. And in the hardest hit area, there are still hundreds of thousands of Burmese who have yet to receive any help at all. They are starting to realize it's their own government's fault. As a government, they should help us who are facing difficulties, says this man. However, they do not take care of us. The military regime in Burma insists it is helping its citizens, but it is still shutting out most foreign aid workers, as well as the food, water and medical supplies they brought with them. Just off the coast of Burma, for example, U.S. and military ships sit loaded with fresh bags of water and food just waiting to be taken ashore. The few aid workers who are on the ground warn today that thousands of children will begin dying if help is held up much longer. In conditions like these, acute diarrhea and pneumonia could become major killers in just a few days. A grim timeline that now has the rest of the world running out of patience. British Prime Minister Gordon Brown calls the regime's response to the disaster inhumane. As for Canada, it is pushing the United Nations to put more pressure on Burma. But some suggest Canada could do much more, including playing a key role diplomatically by pushing China to act as a go-between. The junta is so paranoid, but they look up to China. China provides them arms. It is heavily invested in Burma. They will listen to their friends in the Chinese regime. Today, a hopeful sign from within Burma that the junta may be willing to compromise. For the first time, its top general, Ten Shui, toured the disaster zone. And later this week, he's expected to meet with the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. This after refusing to take calls or respond to letters from the UN. Despite the pictures of startling devastation appearing every day, the military junta now says it has turned its attention to reconstruction and that the relief effort is over. The world is not convinced. Rosemary Barton, CBC News, Ottawa.